Hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. Plots with a twist. We discuss books amongst other things. And what are we talking about today? We're gonna do a book review. A book review. Yay. <laughs> we it's haven't been done one in so 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 long. Mm -hmm. I think the last one we did was upgrade, mm -hmm. okay. and that was last year. In the last year. Wow. Wow. I mean, this year is going by fast, and we did skip like a month. So I guess I mean, it's not that far in view between, but still, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. So yeah, today we will be discussing what are we discussing? How to not drown in a glass of water by uh, Angie Cruz. Cruz, our fave, one of our faves, yes. our grown faves. Right. So let's get into it. So I turned to the page of where I had notes <laughs> and there's absolutely no. I just got into the book. I yeah, just got into the book. One. So, okay, what was it about? The story focuses on Cara. Cara Romero. Cara Ram Romero. She <laughs> is um, in her late 50s, 60s, so. something mm -hmm. like that. She's approaching 60, if not in her late, like she's 58, something like that. Anywho. That's not the point. Um, she's an immigrant living in Washington Heights. Um, she's lived in the U.S. for 20 years or so. Um, but she, this, the book is set during the time of the Great Recession, so around 2009, um, where a lot of people were laid off from various jobs, and she was laid off from a factory job. So the book centers in her process of trying to uh, apply for this program that finds placement for her age range in work. So she, each chapter is basically she has to go to the the work, the social worker or the caseworker to have these interviews to kind of uh, or these sessions to kind of talk through her skills and and just what she would bring to the table in regards to employment so that way they can make sure they place her appropriately but in these sessions she's kind of diving into her life her background under and it's all the point is of course her trying to strengthen her her resume but she's just a, such a charismatic ca character that she gets caught up and wrapped up in everything that's going on and it just seems like um she just really wants to share and, and talk to this woman. So that's what the book kind of goes into, just her going into detail and depth of her life while still trying to find placement and, and ultimately um, reconciling with a lot of things that have gone on in her life, which is one, her relationship with her son or something like that. So that was it. Mm, I think so. All right. So what were your thoughts? So my thoughts. Or what did you like about the book, rather? Loved it. Loved it from the minute I opened the page. <laughs> now, um, so I I really did enjoy the book. As soon as it starts, it's kind of the way it's broken up into sections. Um, the chapters are like each chapter is a session with um, Kara having a session with the woman that is, you know, uh, responsible for approving her benefits for this program. And I don't know, the character is just really likable, even though she does some things that you're just like, girl, like, why would you do that? Or, right. you know, it just kind of gives like, a, she's a multifaceted human being. And a lot of the um, commentary that she was having, like her inner dialogue, well, it's not, not even inner, but her dialogue with the, um, with the interviewer was just hilarious at times. Um, and also just like, I don't know, just what you imagine a real um person like speaking like if that makes sense yeah so i really enjoyed that i enjoyed the way the book was broken up like i said the chapter was each chapter was a um interview with the person in charge of her benefits and then after each chapter it kind of would go into like the things that like she had to fill out like certain job applications or certain like information you know trying to get placement in the program and it would show you like you'd be reading her responses and even in that was kind of hilarious because it's like she's trying to fill out a job application but she's writing in her responses like as if she's just talking to somebody freely and it's kind of like girl like you not getting that job so um <laughs> yeah it was just really enjoyable i think um you know it kind of showed a different point of view from that time i can remember i think that was couple of years after I graduated high school and you know that was a time in the U.S. anyway um as far as like a lot of people losing their jobs and losing their homes and stuff so this kind of just gave a different aspect in Washington Heights and what the people were going through and um 
you know, immigrants and people that d didn't really have like any other uh, system to rely on other than this um, kind of program. And so, yeah, that was a good perspective. Uh, what else did I like? I enjoyed that it went into like kind of, it gave you, um, even though it's only, it's like 12 chapters, short chapters, but it just gave you so much insight into her whole life. Like kind of like in those 12 chapters, her talking to the person, she goes through her whole life story basically and um, leading up to, you know, how she's gotten to this position with losing her job and her, her strange relationship with her son and kind of how that came about um, her relationship with her friends and the people that are in her neighborhood and in her building um, and with her family, kind of how, you know, her she has a sister and her, her sister's family, just kind of how, you know, how their whole life has kind of shaped like where they're, they are now. Um, it was just a lot. It was such a short book, but it just gave you a lot of information, yeah. a lot of things to ponder on. So I really enjoyed that. What else? I just, yeah. I think everything about it for me was pretty. She loved it. I did. It was good. It was really, and it was really short, so it didn't have a lot of room for um, error. Oh um, yeah, like different, <laughs> different stuff going on. So yeah, yeah. So I agree. I really was drawn to Kara um, as a character. She was very magnetic, you know, very just, you know, outspoken. She she really just brought a lot of life to the story. So I appreciate the author kind of giving her that voice. Um, I, I learned a term. I don't know if this is a real term, but in Mammon, they mm -hmm. call it, because um, they was discussing like a book and they call it economical literature. So they basically say it's like a lot of expression with minimal words. Mm -hmm. So I feel like because Angie Cruz, same experience in Dominicana, that you know her writing is really simplistic. It's a short, short book. Um, she fills it with so much life that you like don't feel like you're lacking anything. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just weird. I don't understand how she does that <laughs> because it's like, I know everything about Kara. I knew everything about the girl in Dominicana. Like mm -hmm. I knew everything I needed to know and was satisfied and it was still done under, you know, 250 pages or however yeah. many pages um, were that were in both books. So I just really enjoy her, her approach to writing. Um, she really has a great way of capturing the essence of her character and really making you feel for them, understand them, and just be satisfied with their overall story. Um, I like how she also gave you everything you needed without it being like this chronological story mm -hmm. of Kara's life. Because like Asia said, like you get her whole life story, but she's not like saying, hey, you know, this at this, right, at this period, <laughs> yeah. whatever. But she gives you the bits and pieces of information that you need to know to really understand who she is and, and how she came to be. And um, yeah, I just, I just, again, I don't understand how she's doing it. And it's just, it just, it's just really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, what else I like? So I did like, um, I too thought it was very funny, humorous. I had moments where I bust out loud laughing, mm -hmm. especially in the application part. Cause it's like, they're like, um, are you Hispanic? And she's like, no, I da 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 da. My cousin, it define this. Like she, she's very much like check the box answers, mm -hmm. and she's like giving paragraphs. So I really found that uh, hilarious as well. Um, I really enjoyed the audio book. So if you have uh, interest in reading the book, I would say the audio version. Normally, I say just read books, <laughs> even though I've converted to audio books. <laughs> but this one, the production in the audio book was really really well put together because it not just gave you the story it actually put you inside of everything that was going on like you heard the click clack of her heels you heard the pouring of water you heard her um just everything like the train you heard her typing you know just little things like that that really added to the visual for you i think it was in the audiobook and it was just really well put together um I'm trying to think of what else I like. I just think it's a, a really enjoyable story. It's not much to to really dislike, but I'll ask Asia, what did you dislike? Is there anything I disliked? Let me really think about it. I don't 
think so. I would say I would I would like it to be longer just because mm -hmm. it was a great story. But I feel like, like Kristen said, she gave us everything we needed in those pages. So it wasn't really much to, you know, go off of. It ended, it was short and sweet and ended where it needs to end. So I'm trying to think, was there anything realistically that I didn't enjoy about the book? I wish I had took notes because yeah. I feel like there was something. I feel like, let me see. It was something that I did. Really <laughs> like. I think the character had some moments where she may have been unlikable or like just did things that were just distasteful. But yeah. I, it also like, but you kind of understood because as like a, a older person, an immigrant, um, different culture and like, I don't know, just I feel like more so being older and not really being with the times or whatever. Um, you know, some older people, they just don't get certain things and they yeah. say certain things. I was like, you can't say that no more. Like, you can't do that. And mm -hmm. I feel like Kara was very much, you know, of her generation and kind of like, you know, slow to um, grasp certain things. But it still, it didn't make her unlikable as a whole. You just kind of know that comes with somebody of her age. And, um yeah, but other than that, I don't think it was anything I really didn't didn't like. Um, yeah, same. I I think there was some moments that you're like, uh, what? Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's kind of again part of her journey, part of her story. Um, and I think I enjoyed the that the the fact that she was of an older age, um, and not old, you know, yeah, she's she's of a, a more mature mm -hmm. age and of a kind of set in her way mindset mm -hmm. that she there was still room that the author gave her to grow mm -hmm. um and not unrealistic right so, like oh she just turned around it was this brand new person yeah, so, it's, yeah it's her coming to terms with certain things she's done and so she still has a moment where she moments where she's like okay i i could have done this better so um so I don't, yeah, I don't, it's it's challenging to find things that you don't like in this book. I mean, I can nitpick. Um, I definitely would have wanted more. I definitely didn't mind more um, being presented. Um, I'm trying, I know it was something specific I had in mind at one point, but mm -hmm. I can't, can't think of it I now. can't think of it right now because <laughs> it wasn't major. It wasn't something that was like, oh my God, you mm -hmm. can't read this book now because of this thing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think, I think it's hard to find something that you could dislike. I mean, I'm sure if I look at reviews and people say stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I can like, see that. Oh, okay, yeah. But um, even when I was reading reviews, I don't recall anything that stood out that someone said they didn't like that. I was just like, oh my God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um maybe i would have liked to know more about i think i would have liked to know more about certain relationships so like with her and her son because they um this is not a spoiler but they were kind of estranged so just more about how I, I knew how that came to be but just a little bit more detail about that and ultimately like where they come to mm -hmm. by the end of the book i want to see more of that um yeah, I guess I just wanted to see a little bit more outside of the room that she was in. Because I know mm -hmm. she's talking through her situations and talking to the person. But yeah, I want to kind of see more uh, outside the room and maybe some other perspectives. But that's not the point of the story. That's just me yeah. being curious. So <laughs> that would be the only thing. But other than that, I, I think it's hard to find something bad about this book. Okay, what's your rating? Uh, you know, I gave it five stars. Five what? Stars. Yeah. I, okay, I can't remember what I gave it. I think I gave it five too. I'm talking about what? Why would you not? Like, yeah. it was nothing unlikable. I feel like it was nothing unlikable. It was good. It was solid. It was a solid read. Um, yeah, five stars. Okay, me too. I think <laughs> I'm almost certain. If I didn't give it five stars, I guess I'll go How back and you? change it. Mm -hmm. No, I think I did. I'm almost certain I did. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it was a good book. It was. Yeah. So, would you recommend it? I would. I would actually. Let me see. What kind of person would I recommend it to? I would recommend it. Yeah, I would re recommend it to friends. I want to say I would recommend it to my friends that don't like read a lot, but even them, like, they probably be like, uh, uh, uh. Even though it's a short book and it was enjoyable to me, I have to realize that a lot. Of, some I'm a not nah, I'm a reader, but I am like I read <laughs> books and I like him, you know, yeah, stuff I, that uh, yeah doesn't 
I can stick with something and not that this book started off slow but maybe like to a person that doesn't read all the time they might feel differently but I would definitely if you like our reader and you enjoyed Andrew Cruz's um books um in the past which we've only read one other one but um definitely check this one out it was just it was just really well written and just really good yeah you could read it in a day especially if you read like physical books <laughs> like you could really like read sit there and like knock it out um it was just that good so yeah i would recommend it but i would likely recommend zamenicana first <laughs> yeah because i feel like okay let me say this See, i haven't thought about if which one i like better yet i haven't thought, I, about, I, I, I haven't thought about that either but mm -hmm. i'm saying like to who i'm thinking about so my mm -hmm. friends people who don't really read only reason I recommend Dominicana first because it's a straightforward story. Mm -hmm. And I think for someone who doesn't quite read yet, the style of the telling of the story might throw them off. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think when you say like getting into it, I think that's what would halt because it's kind of like, what's going on? She's mm -hmm. talking, what? Like some people might be, especially put if they don't read. That. Yeah, not necessarily put off, but just a little confused mm -hmm. as to what's going on and what ways they should look. And so not to say that it's a challenging thing to understand but i think that that dynamic plays a to has a, t a role in in whether you know newer readers can really get into it mm -hmm. but um so and i say that for my friends they're not new readers but they 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 struggle reading so i think that would kind of throw them off but i think outside of that anybody could really enjoy the book especially if you read um i think it's a very easy reach um yeah i think the separate yeah. the way the chapters are broken up and maybe not for somebody who doesn't read as much but i think the way they're breaking up broken up kind of makes it even more digestible to me but i read so i don't know it's hard to say yeah if i wasn't a reader i whatever but i, I think overall it's an enjoyable book so i i don't want to put stipulations that if you don't read this is not good <laughs> right. for you but i just just thinking through like as I got introduced to reading, mm -hmm. what types of books I was reading, and yeah. this probably wouldn't have been something I started off with and really been like, okay, yeah, this is why people okay. read. I'd probably be like, okay, this is cool, or um, I'm it's going everywhere because I did that with Life of Pi when it was mm -hmm. opening with interviews and stuff, and I was like, what? Yeah, and I was so I was I was thrown off by that, mm -hmm. and but I was newer to reading, so that's the only reason I say that. But gotcha. All right. If you've read it, let us know your thoughts. Please. If you haven't read it, read it and let us know. Yes. Come <laughs> back and tell. Ooh. Come <laughs> back and tell us. Like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll be back next time. Bye. Bye.